Hey, listen, I got to tell you something, right? I, I posted already this morning, you know, the, I was told you the Trevor Noah. It doesn't matter. You, you, you see it or you won't see it, right? I think it said something with strategies for, I don't know, whatever the top title was. <laughs> yeah, it tastes of just habit, right? Um, first of all, let me control my cherry juice, right? Put this in here. Pour it in my thing here. Whoops. And this is strong, you know. And I'm going to take this old rice lemonade, right? And I'm going to sort of put it in there and sort of, well, I guess you would say I'm diluting the blackness down. They said, all right, but brother, didn't you say that, you know, you got to have pure black and Let's say I'm doing a Malcolm X group. You know what Malcolm said. He said he liked every he likes everything black. His coffee should be black, except his coffee. Then he might put a little cream in it. So act, there's exceptions to all rules. Don't hey, I'm just following the tradition, right? Anyway, here's what happened. It also reminds me, you know, South Africa, my wife, right? What happens is I take my stuff straight, right? But she always puts her water in to dilute it down. And you know, I'm going like, uh, and she. The point is, this stuff reminds me of my wife, who's in South Africa, I'm stuck here, some sort of, you know, blah, 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 something weird about that. But that's the, let me tell you what I'm saying. Okay. So, when I'm down here, when I'm down here in Virginia, I drive because that's the way it is. I'm in New York, I try, I know, but I, I'm in St. Louis, I don't, whatever. But I gotta go to St. Louis a couple of weeks. But in New York, I'd rather get here, you know, I drive. I mean, I do that. So in the morning, just to get the, it's, it's, a, it's a Mercedes, what's it? 380 SL, I don't know, a little sports coupe, whatever it is. I, people are enamored with it. I'm not, I don't care about these things. What, is it? what I do care, it's a middle car. <laughs> it's not a fiberglass, right? 85. Okay, so so I'm, I'm I get in and I, I purposely, because I'm an old man, this is my old man cap too, I go slow, right? And nobody can say anything because it's an old antique car. With an old man. So, what are they going to do? You see? Anyway, so this is cat in the neighborhood. It used to be the neighborhood guy, you know, for the whatever. whatever you know, the big time neighborhood guy. You know, I, I got to say white guy. Don't worry about it. But he's, he's since, you know, I suppose give it up to this black woman, right? But he's always, you know, with because, you know, nobody can do anything better than him. So he's always engaged with, white, with the white woman. And him and, his, him and his wife, you know, that's their thing. You know, they, they go around the neighborhood, you know, making sure everything's up. But that's good. I know you said, oh, he's spying on it. Don't worry about it. When I say he's an old man, he, he's serving in the Korean War. When I first met him, you know, I, I said, oh, hey, I was in the Air Force, Vietnam. Well, not in Vietnam, but Vietnam, ever. So, so that's what it is, right? And my sister is, you know, a uh, uh, retired army, something like that. So he's always chopping on her, but I can chop on him because the Air Force has this whole thing, you know, and whatever the services say, hey, it doesn't matter. That's an inside joke, you know, military people, you don't want to back up. But he, we was just, you know, he's always chattering, da, da, da. he's always trying to, I would say, I say win the argument, but get, okay. So he, he comes to me, he says, no, no, I stopped the car because he's right there. And we, we chatting. And he says, uh, he said, where you from again? I said, you know. I told you before, I'm from New York, you know, but I live in South Africa and I'm stuck here because the country was closed, right? And so he says, oh, yeah, yeah. And then he goes, uh, then, and he goes, uh, yeah, I was, so I'm like, I'm, I'm the, I was in Korean War. Nobody believed how uh, how old I am. I was in the Korean War. And, it was, and if, if, they, if they would let MacArthur pass a line, then we would have, I said, I said, Really? I said the Korean War was started because MacArthur and the them Dallas boys, they who started the Korean War, just those two, two people, two, two people started the Korean War. And he, he started, to say the, he said, the, but then it actually said, well, yeah, yeah, I, I know you're right, but and, and then he tried to change the subject. <laughs> There's two things I like, well, a bunch of things I like. I like old white men who think they're right. Okay, that's one thing I like. I like old white men who think they're right. And don't really know, right? Because I know a lot. Right? The day, everything I like, I love hanging around veterans. I'm going to tell you, the VA, I go there, and sometimes I mess with people, sometimes I don't. Well, New York don't really mess with people. But anyway, so, so what happens is that's what it is. They're always trying, you know, they, they, they're not really gung ho like they say they are. You know, they, they, it's like every time there's a new status thing coming, 
you know, a new thing happening, they jump on the thing. So anyway, that, that, brought, that brought another thought, right? There's this podcast from, uh, what's her name? Was it Trisha Rose? And they had Cornel West on it, and they had Michael Morning. But uh, Cornel West said something. Cornel West said something. It was very interesting, right? What was this? That 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 killing of um, uh, George, um, uh, George Floyd, that really wouldn't happen back in the day. And I thought, oh, well, that's right. That wouldn't happen. There wouldn't be a lot of people standing around and not doing anything. If that happened in the neighborhood, b- b- believe me, you know, let, let me give you an idea. That, um, back in um, the late 70s, I owned a very big house, you know, three stories, blah, 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 full basement, you know, swimming pool, all that stuff, right? And in that neighborhood, it was on uh, some of them in Georgia, 15th Street. And right there, there was a, there was like a major road, like a, you know, a few, like, um, you know, maybe, you know, 300, well, 200 yards away, right? And, and there was an altercation there. And there was a, a, a brother and a cop, you know, a cop or something. And it was interesting because I, I didn't, I didn't go up to the scene, but I heard the, guy, the, the brother was telling the cop, what? I knew you when you was in high school. You was a punk then, you a punk now. Nothing happened. This is the late 70s. So now I'm thinking, what's changed between all that and now? Well, first of all, they militarized the, the cops. Then they got the cops that, of course, they don't they don't live in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? They didn't grow up with this, you know, they didn't grow up with a, they didn't grow up like that. You know what I mean? They live, they're like a, a troops, you know, outside uh, outside the, the bank. And when they called in to do the bidding of, of, of those, I don't know what they call, I don't know what these people are, predatory, ca- I don't know what they are. You know what I mean? The, the, the people they listen to, like, like Trump, like, like, like the Donald the Dumpf, when he told the owners, you know, get that capital guy, you know what I mean? And then they like idiots, they go and get it. Well, they're not idiots, they're trying to get some money, 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 money. Hey, he's going to do that. So all that stuff is background, right? I ain't right back to the point. So, so that's what it is. That's all I want to tell you. You know, don't let these folks, you know, the old people can't do that because the ch- times have changed. Because every, t- every time, let me make this point. If if we don't if if the, if the pressure is not kept up on all levels, you know, then what will happen if you if you stop and you give them time to regroup, they devise another strategy. So all that stuff from the sixties that we did, all they did was militarize more. They did what they did. So now it's at another level. It's the reason why people can't jump in and they could back in the sixties is because they they revised their plans. So if this doesn't go, if we don't make the changes now. Believe me. They'll stop and they'll adjust. So next time they up people, we're gonna do this, 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 and this, right? I'm waiting. Wait till the noise cannon comes out. They try to use that. Yes, well, no, I, was, I want to get all that stuff in the, in the air. But you understand what I'm saying? Um, you know, I hope you do. So this is just a little thought, a little idea. This is what experience had for me. T from the Patterson Signal Trench to bet, letting you know what I only suspect.